You're coming with me, treasure. Thank you all for joining me here. I'm afraid I have important news that I need to impart to Adam. Oh, yes? It's about the militia. The who now? I've been gathering an army in Uriah. People who've lost homes, families. People who'll make a stand against Malos. Well, according to intelligence we received, they have departed from Uriah now. What? Why? Malos's whereabouts are still unclear. It seems that Uriah has conscripted them all. It's now a special regiment of the Orion self-defense forces. I thought I'd sorted this all out with the Orion King. At His Majesty's behest, we have ascertained the position of the moving troops. They are heading to Torna as we speak. We have established communications, so you can send word at any time. <sighs> when they get to Torna, tell them to go to a letter. <sighs> As you say. That wasn't like you. Huh. You think so? Yes. I thought you always know what to do. You're never lost. I wish that really were the case. To tell the truth, I'm always worrying. Ever since I became Mithra's driver, anyway. It didn't seem that way at all. Power lends one an air of capability. Even more so when it comes to the Aegis. When we first met, we could have burnt you to pieces. Though fortunately, we avoided that thanks to Jin. Is that why you were away from the militia? As I am, I am not in full control of Mithra's power. Scores of soldiers could die by my hand. I was frightened. This cataclysm Malos caused, it's likely all because Questa Amalthus was unable to control him. And if that's true, then perhaps I too. I think she's well aware. Just not so comfortable saying it. That's your analysis. Well, I have been with Jin, the paragon of Torna, for 17 years. 